Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my swatch and review video for y'all today on the Juvia's Place palettes that I own. So I have the Saharan palette, I have the Nubian 2, and then I have the Masquerade palette. So what I'm gonna do is run through the different ones, show you swatches, let you know what I think about the formula and how these perform, if I see any differences in the formula throughout the different palettes, and which ones are my favorites. So let's get to it. As far as pricing goes on these palettes, it really kind of varies based on what sales are going on. I've seen them on Hot Look, and then also Juvia's Place will run different sales. So anywhere from around 20-ish to 30-ish dollars or so is what I've seen them. So really affordable. As far as packaging goes, I think that they are beautiful. Like the outside boxes are really gorgeous. The actual like palettes are beautiful. They're just colorful. Um, they're like a cardboard sort of a material, but they feel nice and sturdy. So I think that they have really nice packaging to them. Just really pretty, like very colorful and a lot of fun. Now let's run through the different palettes. So first starting with the Masquerade, this is what the outside box looks like. This is what the palette looks like. I'll show you inside in just a second. This is what it says about it. The Masquerade palette was inspired by festivities usually filled with beautiful and striking colors, enormously captured and celebrated with joy, beauty, vibrancy, and spirituality. 16 richly pigmented colors created and formulated to beautifully elevate your beautiful qualities. Let's celebrate. So really pretty theme to it. Again, that's what the outside looks like. Let's look at what the inside looks like. This one is a very colorful palette. Now there are no mirrors in here. That's not a game changer for me, but just an FYI, no mirrors. But this one is a very colorful palette. There, there's a lot of neutrals too, but the most like um, vibrant colors seem to be in this palette. So. This one's a really fun one, so let's look at some swatches. So starting with the top left of the palette, this one is Chi, Molly, Dahlia, Zola. Second row, this one is Makeda, Zobo, Calabar, Bon. Next row, this one is Giza. That one right there is Burkina. This one is Cairo, really pretty color. That one has a little bit of like um, a drier sort of a texture, so doesn't seem to have the greatest texture on that one. This one is Ada, A-D-A, Ada, Ada? Am I saying that right, I hope? I don't know, I'm doing my best. Da Dahia, Dahia? Yes, Dahia, Zulu, Casablanca, and this one is Fulani. And which one? was one that had a slightly drier texture in this last row. I think it was Zulu, which is that one right there. Had a slightly drier texture. Not as much as this one, but just a little bit drier. So very pretty swatches on this one. Look at all those bright colors. Oh my goodness. So there is another look at the swatches. As far as the texture and performance of the shadows, this one is my least favorite of the three. It's still really good. I don't want you to think I don't like it. I do like it and I would definitely still recommend it, especially for the price. I think it's a really nice palette, but I just don't like it quite as much as the other two. Um, just because like I was mentioning, I noticed like a couple of the shadows have kind of like a drier sort of a texture. And then some of them are almost like too oily or something, but I was trying to look I don't really honestly know enough about ingredients to really understand the ingredient deck and all that, but I couldn't really figure out something in particular, but they just seem like some of these almost seem like too oily because I wore this one one day. Um, this one is Makeda and it faded and kind of like creased a little bit, but it's a purple. And I've noticed like purples just kind of across the board with a lot of different brands tend to fade, at least that's been my experience. So might have less to do with the actual like shadow and more to do with the color. So I would say you're gonna have to use like a really good base, um, at least if you're like me and you have oily lids, really good base, really good primer, um, and you might have to touch up a little bit. But I mean, it's still really pretty. I mean, it really does create some beautiful eye looks. I just don't like this one quite as much as the other two. So if we're trying to like narrow down and I'm trying to like help you pick, this one wouldn't be my very favorite. Next we have the Nubian 2. So that is what this one looks like. Just a really 
bright, vibrant yellow, really beautiful. So this one says, the Nubian Two palette by Juvia's was inspired by an African empire in old Egypt, headed by the beauty icon Nefertiti. She was famously endowed with strength and spirituality. This palette consists of 12 versatile array of metallic shades and pops of color. So this one, I love the detail of like the different color on the side, like it's just really pretty. I mean, it's obviously, it's the inside of the palette that's showing on the side, like this is showing on the side, but it's just pretty, it just makes me smile. I love the colors. So this one is still colorful as well, kind of like the Masquerade, but this one is like more jewel toned and deeper. So there are still neutrals in here, but the colorful shades in here are just deeper and more jewel toned. So that is what this one looks like. Um, and the pans, I have the larger of the Masquerade. I believe that there's a smaller one with smaller pans, but I have the larger one. So the pans are larger in this one and also in the Masquerade that I have. The Saharan is smaller, and I believe that the Nubian one, they are smaller shadows as well. So anyway, back to this palette. That's what that looks like. Let's look at some swatches. Again, starting with the top left side of the palette, this one is Morocco. A nice matte. This one is Madagascar. This one is Sheba. That one is Yah. Middle row, this one is Jezebel. That one is Zuri. This one right here is Cleopatra. This one is Nefertiti. That one's so pretty. I love that one. That one with uh, this one over here. Oh my goodness, that's an amazing combo. This one is Nairobi. That is Layla, this one is Kenya, and this one is Egypt. Gorgeous. As far as mats, there are one, two, three, four mats, Morocco, Madagascar, Jezebel, and Kenya. So those are the mats, but you can just see it has a neutral tone to the palette, but then also the colors in here are kind of like jewel toned deeper sort of shades, really beautiful. Texture and performance on these shadows is really good. I love this palette, I think it's so nice. I find the mattes to be really easy to work with. I find them to blend well, wear well. The metallics are really nice and vibrant and they wear well throughout the day. Um, just a beautiful palette. I really, really enjoy this one. So this one is my second favorite of the three that I have. And I forgot to mention that the Masquerade has one, two, three, four, five mattes in that one, so that's just an FYI. And then lastly, I have a Saharan palette. So I wanted to show you a little size comparison between the three. So in the back there, the largest of the three is the Masquerade. Again, I have the large Masquerade palette. In the middle is the Nubian two, and then the smallest one of the three is the Saharan in the front. So there they are in comparison, but just look how like bright and beautiful and colorful they look together. I love it. I think they're gorgeous. Okay, so let's talk about this one. So first off, the way it looks is amazing. I love the coloring on this one. I love the coral with the turquoise. It's really, really beautiful. The outside box is the same and gorgeous. So let's read about this one. It says, a lively Saharan, inspired by the vibrancy and vivaciousness of the Wadabi festivities in the Fulani culture of West Africa, filled with elaborate and flamboyant makeup. The Saharan eyeshadow palette is endowed with pops of colors, earthy hues, and golds that emulate a true Saharan. So I love the theme of these palettes. I love that they celebrate African culture. I think that's a beautiful thing. And I just love that about them. I think they're really gorgeous and I love that they have a meaning behind them. So I think that's a really beautiful thing. Okay. So on to the Saharan. So this is what it looks like. So this one is an overall very warm tone palette and it does have a very kind of like fiery sort of a look to it. That's what I love about this one. Very neutral. You could definitely get some daytime sort of looks, but then you've got these like really amazing, like just intense sort of colors too. So I love that about this one. Can you tell I'm really liking this one? Well, let's look at some swatches. Again, top left side of the palette. This one is Sokoto. That one is Wadabi. This one is Bororo. This one is Kia. That one is Zoya. That one's a little hard to see on my skin tone. It's pretty close to my skin tone. This one is Iman. That one is Jamila. This one is Senegal. That one is Chad. This one is Katsina. Lulu. And Fula. 
So there are all of those. I just love the overall tone and feel of this palette. It's just beautiful. As far as mattes, one, two, three, four mattes in this palette. So there are swatches. Texture, formula, and performance on this palette is really, really great. I love this palette. This one's my favorite of the three. Just every time I use this palette, I find that they just work really well together. I love the looks that you can create with this palette. Every time I use it, I'm like, yes, I love this palette. It's just fun to use, easy to use. The mattes blend well. The metallics are nice and vibrant and wear well. I don't notice like a huge difference formula wise between this one and the Nubian 2. Um, I kind of like start to think that maybe the metallics in here are just slightly more vibrant, but I think it has more to do with just the colors of the metallics in this one versus the Nubian 2. The Nubian 2 has more jewel tones and just deeper colors, whereas this one has, you know, a couple of like really light, bright colors. Like this one on my lid is Wadabi, and I mean, it's just like a really bright color. So I think it has more to do with the colors versus the formula. Um, I think that the wear time is slightly better with this palette than the Nubian 2. And the only thing that I can kind of like, you know, wonder if that might be the reason is that mineral oil is further up, like higher on the ingredient list in this one than with the Saharan. So that might be the difference, but it's just a slight difference. This one, they still wear really well, but maybe this one's just like, they keep their vibrancy just a tiny bit more. But overall, I absolutely love this palette. And again, this one is my favorite of the three. All right guys, so overall wrap up, I think these are all great palettes. I love all three of them, recommend all three of them. But if we're narrowing down, I'm trying to help you choose. This one is my least favorite of the three. So this one is number three, but I do still like it. My second favorite is the Nubian 2, and my overall favorite is the Saharan. So, hope that you guys really enjoyed this video, and I hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was, and let me know down below what your favorite of the three palettes, or if you have the original. I would love to know what your favorite palette would be. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!